I think we might missing some people. They must be still asleep. I got a message. Okay, probably by now, I'm thinking, hopefully, everybody by now should have received, um, hold on. By now, everybody should have received an invite saying, uh, uh, in, invitation to collaborate that means that you have your own folder so that means if you can try do your best to put all your work in that folder and i will check it not saying when but i will check it so make sure um i think everybody everybody on here if you did not get a email somehow invitation to collaborate somebody uh, but it was pertaining to a folder that you have in your um in the drive uh, if you didn't get the email, let me know. If you have not taken a test, everybody, please make sure you take the test. Make sure you take the test. Um, also, make sure you turn in. That's okay, Deshanti. Make sure you turn in the study guide. So make sure you do that. Uh, there were I had a couple of you to join in on the career chats. Career chats, um, they should be doing them every Friday, where they have different people from uh, that are in different professions. They will come talk about what they do, their experiences. They'll invite you to join in as well. If you join in to one of the career chats. If there's one career chat, you get one quiz, great. If there are two on that day and you join two, you get two. So I have to, I've documented the people and I will put them in for a quiz grade. It'll be called career chats and probably be that date, whatever date it was on. So I would encourage you to join the career chats every Friday. Um, usually they're at 12, but this last Friday, I think we had one at 10. So we may have one at 10 and one at 12. Just come on and join in. So again, make sure that you're uh, coming in on the career chats is optional. You do not have to, but if you come, you will get a quiz grade. Make sure you wrap up the test um, by Friday. But I wanted, I would like to have it done before Friday. Make sure you send me your um, study guides. Make sure you are putting all work in the folders that I provided for you on Google Drive. Also, I had a little bit more participation on the Friday attendance email. Make sure every Friday, you guys know this, I said over and over, four days a week. Please make sure that you respond back to the attendance quiz. I have not put it in yet, but don't try to send me saying, okay, I got it. Too late. I just, something was wrong with the system, so I couldn't put it in. But on Fridays, I send you an email. That is your attendance. So that counts you either present or absent. Um, so if you um, don't respond back to the email, you get your absent on Friday. If you respond back to it, you're present. So please make sure that you're doing that. Okay, guys. Also, um, some of you, what we're going to do is if you notice in the attendance quiz, it asks you if you have gathered your information for your resumes, because I'm gonna get with Mr. Tanjo and we're gonna start setting up days this week, hopefully, where a few of you can meet with him one-on-one -on -one through Google Meet. And we'll get that set up, okay? And you will meet with him and you'll, uh, what I, if you've already got your information gathered, go ahead and send me the information so I can get it sent to him. Make sure your name is on the document, and then we can 
uh, it'll help speed up the process because I would like to have everybody's resume done by October 15th. Okay, so it's good, a little bit less than a month, but that's that's enough time. So make sure you're doing that. Um, if you have not, let's go to a couple things I want y'all to do. If you haven't done it, I'm, I'm gonna let you work on your own, but you're still required to be here. But I'm gonna let you work on your own. Bear with me, y'all. Excuse me. Okay. If you have not, I want you to start. We can do tomorrow uh, what I also planned uh, for today. If you have not, the resume document, I just want you to look at it. I don't want you to do the resume document yet because I want you to be able to type up your own resume document uh, of your own information. Some of you have already done it and uh, you will get credit for that. And we will do this one at a later date. And I also want to show you some information on uh, how to type up resumes. But I do want you to make sure that you go into the uh, Tech Terrence um, 3 PDF. You are to type it up just like this. When you see the 20XX, that means you need to put in the year. You'll put in the current year. So your current year will be 20. So it'll be September 30, 2020. If you look at this document, you know that they double spaced and they type Miss Miriam Lockhart space. Um, actually, actually, they probably double spaced two times. It's the enter two times. This should be entered two times, and the spaces in between should be entered one time. Make sure you are typing this information up. When you get to the introduction or the body, um, this is all single space. Then you'll double space here, uh, type in your, your text here, double space. Make sure your document looks as close as possible to this document, but it may not be looking. They said, do not copy and paste. Again, when you see the XX, that means that you need to uh, type in the date, the current date. Okay, so you need to do that one as well as your references. No, 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 You should, so by now, let me retract. You should have done your class description, your letter document, your reference. Then now you should be typing your Tech Terrace, Tech Terrace um, 3, and your volunteer coaches. If you look at the volunteer coaches, you see exactly all of this is centered. That's why it looks like that. Just hit the center button, start typing. Make sure yours looks as close as possible to this without paste, uh, without copying and paste. Please do not copy and paste. All right. I also want to let you know that on Thursday, we've got a program. So those of you, I think Daniel, um, Daniel knows about it. Because um, Daniel was in my, Daniel was in my Excel class. Yes, you got your flyer done. Okay, cool. Oh, that's yeah. right. the flyers. So Daniel knows about a program, but uh, Dan, you remember we worked on Jasper Active, and then after we finished Jasper Active, we went to Geometric. Well, we've got something a little bit different. This is for this is for remote learning. So because you are at home right now, Jasper Active does not offer right now. I don't think they offer a um a program. That works on the so it's you know, like a JSP active alternative. Yeah, so we're gonna do something. We're gonna start Thursday. Uh, hopefully Thursday. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that everybody gets activated on Thursday, and then on Monday should be when we just start fully in that program. So it's gonna be a little bit better to show you how to, and uh, it, it should be kind of like JSP active. I have not looked at it completely, so I'm gonna start looking at it today. So hopefully I will have everything done by Thursday. But at least we'll get set up by Thursday as far as you activating your accounts, knowing what to do. So we'll do that on Thursday. So that means from third, so starting Monday, which will be the 28th on out, you will be what's on the program. That program will guide you in, on, on to the next step. It should be able to be self-explanatory, but it's, I will be here to help you as well. And it's a new program for me. But with this program, it'll lead you from step one to step two, step three, or whatever it needs to do. So we'll start that on Thursday. 
typing.com i still want you to typing.com some of y'all have not been in there since day one i need you to go back in there and get it done so what i want to do is for the people and thank you Isaac, for saying that you had your fly because i forgot that quick for all the people who have not presented their flyers uh i'm gonna let, give y'all a chance give me let me get my paper when i was writing on the net if i can find y'all know how that goes sometimes So give me a moment, please. I'm still with you guys. I'm looking for my paper where I work, wrote where some of you had did your flyers. I gotta see where I, where I put that. Okay, I think I know Shantaria did hers. Hers was a spring break cookout. Wazurian, uh, you're gonna do yours. I think maybe was Shantaria. Shantaria, were you the only one that had presented your flyer? Uh, no, it was to me. Somebody I don't know how to pronounce his name, but somebody else he's gonna do it. But his um. Why Zirion? Yeah, his thing got messed up. So you were the only one who, who actually got through your presentation? Yes. Okay. So tell me who wants to go next. You can either present on your end or you can send me your presentation. I open it up, but you still have to present. So who wants to do theirs next? Who wants to do their flyer next? And hold on a minute, I'm looking. So y'all decide which I want. Uh, I said, do you want me to go ahead and you want to go ahead and do yours? I'll open it up and then you can present. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me pull up my email. Okay, hold on. Yes, just shine to yes. Yes, hey, Jayla.
Okay, Jalen, whenever you ready, I think it's probably. Let me look and see. I'm not sure, Shanti. Um, I said, if you want to, you can go ahead and let me pull it back up. And you can go ahead and present your uh, flyer. Talk about your flyer and everything. Tell everybody what's going on. Miss Hargrave, this rose. Um. Okay. Let me share this tab. Let me see. Let me see if it will. Can you see? No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Let me see some. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna try. Let's try. Let's do this. Contail. Fire. Okay, can you can you see it now? And then I can just move it up when it needs to, when I need to move it up. It's still stuck on the um the Gmail part. Shit. Okay. Oh, Tell me now. Now, nah, okay. You know what? That was my error. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, how do I explain it? Okay, just tell them. Just just read it, and then you can tell them what it's about or whatever. You just explain it. What this flyer is about. If if somebody, say for instance, if they didn't have time to read it, or say for instance, if they weren't in front of a computer, how would you uh, introduce your your party, your event? Just read it. Just like. And then tell them what's what's it about and everything. Okay. Um, it says you're invited to ISIS 15th glow in the dark party. This glow in the dark party is something we can have lots of fun with, and food will be provided. There is nothing you need to bring. The glow sticks and glow items will be provided. Where, um, one fifteen Cotton Grove Road. I just made up a address okay when friday september 25th time 6 30 to 12 p.m to 12 um um come and enjoy yourself let the fun begin all right good job good job so what i would have done like i said you did a great job and i know that you guys are new to speaking, new to presenting. So this is all new to you and, and, and you're shy. And I do understand that because believe it or not, as much as I talk, I am often shy, get nervous when I have to speak in, uh, in front of a group of people. But they normally never can tell that because I go in and just talk. So what I would have done is says, you're invited to ISIS 15th Glow in the Dark Party. This Glow in the Dark Party is something we can have lots of fun with and food will be provided. There's nothing you need to bring, the, there's nothing you need uh, to bring. The glow sticks 
or glow items will be provided. Yeah, yeah. We got your glow sticks. We got your glow items. And it's going to be where? 115 Cotton Grove Road. It's going to be when? Friday, September 25th. And the time will be 6.30 p.m. to 12 p.m. So you need to come. Uh, come and let the uh, light or whatever uh, shine and joy. We're going to have fun. So that's how you would introduce it or whatever. But I know everybody don't put it on like me. So I think this is really great. I think the flyer was really um, awesome. Um, there's always things that we will, can't critique and we will later on. But I wanted to encourage you guys to be able to put on a flyer. Now, what I would suggest, and these are just simply suggestions. So I'm going to go back to the flyer. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's go back. I'm going to go back to the flyer. Okay, on the fly, I love the fly. What I would have done, you see your picture, I would have made my picture a little bit bigger. I would have put your invited a little bit more in the center, made it a little bit bigger. Uh, I probably would put um, Isis 15 Glow in the, in the Dark Party underneath the illustration of the picture. This Glow in the Dark Party, and I probably would have made um, Maybe do highlighted the text a little bit with a little neon or something. Um, also, after you get the exclamation marks, I love it, but do not put so many. Um, and I would have like double space. Uh, so I and my where, when, and time, all the information would have been centered, made it a little bit bigger. I would have put my picture. Picture's great. I like how you did it. Maybe made it a little bit bigger. Come and enjoy. I probably would put the come and enjoy yourself at the, in the middle of the picture. And maybe say at the bottom, I would have put let the fun begin in big, big letters. That's what I would have done. But I think that you did great because you guys are still learning. So this is all new to you. And it's okay. So I appreciate, I mean, I, I want to come to the Glow in the Dark Party. So I thought, I think we said we was going to do something Friday. We might have to do it Thursday since Friday, uh, uh, do something. Uh, we're going to have to have us a little, uh, a little Glow in the Dark Party or something. And we're going to celebrate Isa's birthday and everybody else's birthday. Who's had a birthday uh, that we did not get a chance to celebrate? So we're going to put something out. But I, I'm glad you did that, and I thank you. So great job, great job. Who wants to go next? Uh, just I can try again if you want. Hi. I can try again if you want. Okay, that sounds good to me. Can I send it? Yes. Please send it to me, yes. Okay, now I got yours too. You got with me. I got to fan on hot. Yes, Daniel. I sent me in my flyer to your folder, right? Or you know what, if you want to for right now, go ahead and send it to my email. That way I can open it up for you. All right. Okay. It might take a while. Okay. Well, Zuriana, you, you sent me yours a couple of days ago. Maybe, let me see. I'm going to see if I can pull it up. I want to say you may have sent it to me a couple of days ago, maybe. Uh, I thought documents, just job descriptions. I have to get all that done. Maybe did, maybe did not wait. I'm seeing you guys. Let me see. Guys, and hold on. Keep sitting with you sitting. Let me let me check out something real quick. 
before I forget. <laughs> yes, uh huh. I sent you several links to which one of them work. Okay, let me see. Okay, I pulled that one up, so that one's working. That's working. Okay, so I'm gonna hold yours up. Let me see. Why is it around? Why are you working on yours? Keep working on it. Just send it to my email. Uh, Deshanti, do you want to go next or a nine? And then I get Daniel. Who wants to go next? And I'm still here, y'all. Do I go ahead? Uh, let me see. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, let me see. Anna, do you want to go? Deshanti, you said you don't want to go right now. Uh, Anna, do you want to go? Because they had theirs in. Okay. Um, then you go after Anna, okay? Because she had hers in. So I'm going to let Anna go first because she was ahead of you. So give me, and then you can go after Anna, okay? So give me a minute. Do I present it now? Yes, you can go ahead and present it now. And I'll have okay. it up. Okay, this is a shoe show, no, a shoe sale going on. It's October 24th, 2020 at your local shoe store. I put in a shoe store near the Walmart and then it's like a 30 to 80% off on select styles for, you know, the whole family. Okay, I like, uh, I like how you did the graphics with the shoes. Um, I think that you did a great job. Um, I would suggest, like, if you're going to do shoe sale, make sure. I probably would have put the S in sale, capitalized, no big deal. But these are just important. So when y'all do our next flyers, uh, shoe sale, I, I probably would have put October 24th, the, after the 4 and the 24th, put a comma. And then after the 2020, I would have put enter. And then uh, at your local shoe store. Uh, come up with a name. Give it your own name, and then you can put. Uh, uh, so October twenty fourth, and then I would put the name uh, under that. I would center all of that. October twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Enter the name of the shoe store. Enter all of that would have been centered. Then you put Lexus Shopping Center. Make sure you put the S and Shop and capitalize for. Make sure to uh, write out the word center. Although a lot of people know what STR stands, CTR stands for, some people don't. So make sure you put that in. Hit enter. Two eighty Lowe's Boulevard. Enter Lexington, uh, North Carolina. Two seven two nine two. Enter. Put all of that in, and you're gonna put thirty percent off on select styles. I like that because I mean, wow. I probably would have highlighted that thirty percent to eighty percent. All that I would have highlighted that. Because that is your wow factor. People are gonna say thirty to eighty percent off. Ooh, I better hurry up get down there for that shoe sale. But I like how you got that um that shoe thing in there. Uh, what did you do and I? Uh, what did you uh, look up to get that that uh, shoe spinning? What did you put in? Uh, 
I went to like the tools and looked up shoes and it just popped up. So you went on the tools and looked up shoes? Yeah, and it just popped up. It just started moving. I didn't know it was going to move. Okay. Um, the moving pictures are called GIFs, G-I-Fs. You search okay. the picture you like and you put beside it G-I-Fs, you'll always get like these animation pictures. Okay, I often do that, but that, that's cool there. I like that. And then you got styles for the whole family. And I probably put styles for the whole family all in um, uh, caps and made that center. And then I would uh, styles for the whole family. And then I would hit enter and only, only would have been by itself in October 24, 2020. Uh, but I think you did a great job on the flyer. Um, and I think this would have, uh, if it were an actual thing, it would have been a hit. So now, Daniel, we are going, to, uh, Jashanta, you'll go after Daniel, okay? So I'm going to put Daniel up. Let me get Daniel on here. Okay, all right, Daniel, go ahead. Um, I mean, my... I mean, mine's really simple, and then didn't want to do too much because my my goal of my flyer is to make it simple, and understandable, and I pick some leaves. It's actually the same leaf; I just twist them around to make it look symmetrical. So, tell us about tell us about your event. It's a fall festival. It will be on October 15, 2020. It starts at 6 p.m. 9 p.m. We have prices, food, fun, and much more. Okay. I like that. I, I like, and uh, Daniel, I like how you said you kept everything just simple and clear cut. Oftentimes, people will put a whole lot of things in a flyer and it loses the audience attention. What you wanna do is uh, focus on uh, keywords or what Mr. Tondra says, power words. You wanna focus on that to get their attention, to say, hey, Daniel's Fall Festival, hey, I gotta check this out. And I like how you did the flipping of the leaves, um, your date, your time, prizes, food, fun, and much more. I think you did a great job. I may, uh, would, after festival, I probably would have hit enter one more time just to give a space in between the festival and the date. Uh, I, I actually like how you did October 15, 2020 in the line, but so it will not mess up, uh, confuse the eye. I probably would have left the, that out and just after October 15, 2020 hit enter and did 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., make sure all of that was centered. Then when you get to your prizes, I probably would have put, uh, did, did an effect with my prizes and your food fun and more. Uh, the elf and food would have been capitalized, the elf and fun. So I would put prizes. Uh, did it like, it, did, uh, like, uh, like you would uh, put some effects up there, like uh, you see, um, like a, gosh, like a splatter effect. Prizes food, fun, and much more. I would have done that, something like that. But I think overall your uh, flyer was good. Just add a little bit more illustrations or graphics. But I think you did a great job. I really, really, really appreciate it. I think all y'all guys are doing a really good job. Uh, Wazirion, you gonna go after- Thank you, Mr. Uh, what'd you say, Daniel? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, I think you did good. Um, Deshanti, huh? Yeah, you just did it. I see it. Uh, go after. I'm gonna let Deshanti go, and then you can go. So let me open up Deshanti's okay. thing here. Miss Hargrave, I just sent mine to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That sounds good. Let me get Deshanti up here. You got this. Okay. Miss Hargrave, 
Yes. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready to present? Yes, I'm just a little nervous. Okay, you are fine. Look, we are all team players. We are all team members. We are a group. We are a family. Nobody here is going to judge anybody else. I'm the only one that's going to give you, critique you. And I'm not critiquing you for the bad. I'm critiquing you for the good. So if anybody has any issues or does anything that is not acceptable, then I will take care of them. So you got the floor. Okay. Um, it says... You are invited to someone's 18th center of life. Come join. Food and drinks are provided. Um, it's, the rest says happy birthday. And then it has the 18th um, balloon thingies. And then the win is November 8th, 2020. The wear is 185 Cotton Grove Road. The time is 6.15 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Awesome. I think you did a great job. Awesome job. Awesome job presenting it. There's no right or wrong because we are all still learning. Um, I would say you invited someone's 18th center of life. I like that center of life. So is this moreover going to be like a, would have been like a surprise party, right? Yes. So you don't, but the person that you're sending it to would know who, the, they'll know who the actual person is. You just didn't want to put their name up there in case that person saw it. So I like how you are invited to someone's 18th center of life. I've never heard that uh, term, but I like that. Where'd you get that from? I just came up with it. Well, that tells me that you are very creative. So I like that. What I probably would have done is put the, um, the I in invented, um, the S in someone, the C in center, and the L in life, all that would have been capitalized. But I love mm -hmm. that. And then I like how you did the balloons, the banner saying happy birthday. Uh, make sure, guys, that when you are doing a date that you write it out. We, everybody, more than likely, most people know what NOV stands for. But to be politically correct or professional uh, and about business, make sure you write out the day of the week, the, um, the month, um, the um, write all that out. So I would have write, written out November and where it says where 185 Cotton Girl Road. OK, where is that? At? Is that in um, uh, Lexington, Kentucky? You need to tell me. So I need the city and the state and the zip code because some people will copy and paste your address and put it into a uh, Google uh, map or something or on their GPS and they and a lot of times believe it or not there's other 185 Cotton Girl Roads in could have been um, Tallahassee Florida so you need to make sure that you're telling people the city state and the zip code okay but I think you did a great job um, like I said, we are all learning, but I would um, have loved to have received a flyer like this. So I think you did a great job. So good job, good job, good job. All right, now let me go and see. Uh, we're going to do Wazirian. So Wazirian, let me uh, pull up yours. Uh, Wazirian, I think that I had to send a request. So see if you got an email for a request. It wouldn't let me um, open it up. It said it had to, uh, excuse me, request um, access to the file. See if you got it. And then send it back. It says that I'll get an email. I got it. Right. Okay. So I'm going to wait. So send it back. Give me access. And then I should hope to be able to go back in there and open up that.
Y'all need to get that. I'm trying to go back in. Okay. No, that's Yana. I don't think it's come back yet. So, uh, are you still working on it or what? Okay, here it is. Here it is. Inv invitation. Now I get to open it up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Good. Hold up, I think. Tab. Okay, why is it Ryan? This is yours. Yes. All right. So do you want to tell us about it? Uh, my baby cousin's two-year-old birthday party is coming up soon. And how do you how do you say her name? Is it Yudi? Are inviting and we call her Yudi, but her name's Sasha. Okay, cool. Oh, she gonna have a fun um fun birthday. So she's turning two. So I like that. I like how um you put that up and I like um how you 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 made a uh, actually a flyer from her actual um birthday invitation. And guys, if y'all see how this invitation is done, you see how how it has the now it doesn't have a year on it. And uh we can bypass that um uh, because hopefully everybody knows that it is it is the current year. But I would probably advise if you were doing a flyer, put the put the date on there. Because then you ask somebody who says, Well, I didn't know, I thought it was next year. Okay. And you see how they have the, the time, they have the address. I would go back and put the zip code in just to be safe, because you know how people are. And you see how um the flyer um has RSVP. Some of you uh, may want to put that on your flyers, RSVP have at least one contact number or two, okay? And give them, if you are SVP, make sure you give them a day to RSVP. I do tell you now that most people, when they are as, they don't RSVP when they're supposed to, or they'll go, the date will be expired, but then they'll call you. Can I still come to the party, but you were supposed to have, um, done it by this date, but you'll still let them come anyway. Uh, Wazirion, thank you for that, and I think that was a very nice uh, flyer, and thank you so much. Now we're going to have Miss uh, Ziana, so let me get Ziana. Oh, okay, thank you. We're going to get Ziana's up now. Okay. Uh, um. Um. You want to start now, or yes? Okay. Um. Loyal Glot Baby Purge Halloween Party. Um. Loyal Glot Baby's Halloween Party is where the squad and their friends can have a good time and enjoy themselves. Everyone can come in as their own style for the purge, and parents are allowed to. Where at two twenty three Hilltop Drive when? October 31st, what time? 4 o'clock p.m. to all night. All you have to do is bring yourself and your friends and bring your friends to be ready to party all night. Ooh, that's scary there. <laughs> but I think that's an awesome job. Um, so I think you did a great job. Um, I probably would make my little... Uh, Little thing like here, I guess it's like the little devil, uh, like uh, made it a little bit bigger. Um, I would have make sure guys go back 
uh, and look at if it ever has a uh, uh, squiggly line, that means that possibly is something that the computer is saying change, but not all the time are they correct. Just look at the suggestions. Okay. And, okay. And you're aware, make sure it's WH, but you did a good job. Make sure it's a WH. I, I probably would have made it a little bit bigger, make sure to make it a little bit bigger. And I probably would have separated it somehow from there. Um, I like the, the illustration. That's kind of, that's really scary. I may would have added a little bit something here in the corners, but I think you did a great uh, job as far as coming up with the theme of the party. So I think you did a really great job as with anything you guys are going to improve. But I think you did a great job on this flyer. Uh, and probably a lot of people, they would be saying, what is the Glock? Uh, so they, they will come just to find out what the Glock is. But I think you did a great job, and I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anybody else that would like to present today? Also, so let me go in and show y'all a couple things. Because if we have not done that, we need to. Guys, make sure you're up to date on your assignments. Everybody should have your class description, your letter, your reference done. Make sure your job description, signs, star bright, satellite proposal, they're all done because I'm going to try to start putting those in tonight or tomorrow. And uh, I'll put them, I'll at least put the outline up, which that means the title, and then I'll go back and put in uh, the grade. So make sure you've done that. Under Make sure you've done the class description, the letter, the reference. Now you should be doing your Tech Terrace 3 document and your volunteer coaches. Uh, right now, what I would like y'all guys to do is work on your Lesson 3 term quiz. Um, so what I want y'all to do, if you don't do it now, do it by this evening. I would like it done um, by tonight. So make sure you do your Lesson um, 3 term quiz. And let me see. And, yeah, don't worry about where it says your quiz go here. Um, just let me delete that off. Let me stop. Hold, on. Hold up. So make sure that you've done all the um, necessary um documents and i still want you to get this a lesson three term quiz done if you can have that done by tonight so just make sure you do that and like i said make sure you're uh, staying on top of your test and getting your study guide turned in and we will um continue on tomorrow i appreciate everybody who, who did that flyer today Today, I'm, I'm looking for more flyers tomorrow. You guys did a great job, and I will see you on tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye, guys.